My name is Sherry Gallimore, and I've been doing dog school for 20 plus years off and on. Um, thanks for logging in to this 10 talk, and hopefully it's informative. Myself, along with a small committee, has, puts together dog school. Um, we started out with our daughters doing it many, many years ago, back in the 2000s. And we've just sort of taken charge and keeping it going. Uh, just, let's see, paged out. Here we go. What is dog school? It's an opportunity to learn about and work with your dogs under the supervision of dog trainers in a variety of different disciplines. It's a three-day event designed to become help you become a more responsible dog owner. Um, we will work in obedience, junior showmanship, rally, and agility. We have two days of just learning those disciplines. And then we turn the third day into a dog show so that you get the opportunity to participate in a dog show, see how a dog show runs, know what to expect when you go to a dog show. In between training, we will put together demonstrations on the different activities you can do with your dogs. In the past, we've done herding, um, fly ball, we've had police dogs, we've had drug dogs. Um, anything that we can kind of show you guys what else you can do with your dogs besides just have them in the backyard. That's what we're trying to do there. Um, we'd also encourage you, if you're coming to dog school, to put together a demonstration or talk about something to do with dogs to share with the other participants at dog school. It also helps in your project that you have given a demonstration or a talk in front of groups of people. Let's see, patient, when is dog school? Right now it's scheduled for June 21st, 22nd and 23rd. We're having it in a new location in the South Valley of Albuquerque called Valley Dogs Albuquerque. Um, it's bigger, we, in the past we've had it at Sandia Dog Obedience and they were a great, great host, but we kind of outgrew it last year and we're hoping that we're going to have a lot more dogs this year and kids. So we, we're going to try this facility. I think we can fit at, at least 10 more to 15, maybe. We hope not dogs in there. So we've moved it to this location. And if you're coming to dog school, when you enroll, we will um, make sure you'll get a welcome letter that will have the address and We'll give you some places that'll stay, that'll take dogs that you can call. And, or if you have any questions, you can always email us and we will answer them. Um, what you need to know to attend dog school, you should be enrolled in the dog project. Um, registration will open May 1st and will close May 31st. And that's a hard deadline with your county. Um, when you go enroll for dog school, we ask that you give them a copy of your vaccination records. They have to be current. This is because of the building where we have hold it. They will require us to have, make sure your dogs are all vaccinated. You should be able to handle the dog by yourself. Um, not have mom, dad, or brother, sister out there helping you. You will have to do it on your own. Um, if you're planning to attend, we ask you to start um, crate training your dog so they're used to being in a crate. Most dogs will crate train fairly easy because it gives them a place to de-stress and they get very comfortable hanging out in their crates. Um, items to bring with you, very important, closed, toed, comfortable shoes, no Sandals, no slides, no flip-flops. We want you in like a tennis shoe, just something closed-toed so that you won't be tripping and falling and putting any more stress on you or your dog. Also, of course, your dog crate 
folding chairs for whoever's coming with you, training collars, that would include like a flat collar, a choke collar, a pinch collar. And when you come to dog school, we'll help get you all lined out on what kind of um, equipment you need. A six foot leash and treats. Some dogs like treats. If your dog doesn't like treats, we ask you to bring their favorite toys. Whatever motivates your dog, that's what we're asking you to bring. Let's see. Um, read through my notes here. Talked about all that. Cool. Page down. Example schedule that we'll be doing at 10.30. We'll start about 10.30 in the morning so you can actually drive in Friday morning. Um, we'll have introduction. We'll get all the, the do's and don'ts of what we need to do with the building and all that taken care of. And then we'll do an obedience assessment to, just to see where you and your dog are and what you all know. And then we'll probably work on some junior showmanship. This will all lead into Saturday and we'll start probably around seven o'clock in the morning on Saturday morning while it's still cool and we'll start working agility outside. And as the day gets heats up, we'll move inside and work on rally and more obedience and more junior showmanship. We'll intermix some demonstrations in there. So your dog will definitely, and you and your dog will both have some downtime and you guys can just relax. Um, Either Friday afternoon, depending on how the schedule will work, or Saturday is when we'll do your demonstrations. And then Sunday, we'll set up a dog show and anything else that we have kind of left over that we feel that you should know about before you leave. We will take care of all that on Sunday. And then any other questions or anything anybody would have, hopefully we can deal with that on Sunday as well. Um, I think that's it.